the bite on my birthday. At low tide like this, how sheer the water is. White, crumbling ribs of marl protrude and glare, and the boats are dry, the pilings dry as matches. Absorbing, rather than being absorbed, the water in the bite doesn't wet anything. The color of the gas flame turned as low as possible. One can smell it turning to gas. If one were Baudelaire, one could probably hear it turning to marimba music. The little ochre dredge at work off the end of the dock already plays the dry, perfectly offbeat claves. The birds are outsides. Pelicans crash into this peculiar gas unnecessarily hard, it seems to me, like pickaxes, rarely coming up with anything to show for it and going off with humorous elbowings. Black and white man of war birds soar on impalpable drafts and open their tails like scissors on the curves or tense them like wishbones till they tremble. The frowsy sponge boats keep coming in with the obliging air of retrievers, bristling with jack straw gaffs and hooks, and decorated with bobbles of sponges. There is a fence of chicken wire along the dock, where, glinting like little plowshares, the blue-gray shark tails are hung up to dry for the Chinese restaurant trade. Some of the little white boats are still piled up against each other or lie on their sides, stove in and not yet salvaged, if they ever will be from the last bad storm. Like torn open, unanswered letters, the bite is littered with old correspondences. Click, click goes the dredge and brings up a dripping jawful of marl. All the untidy activity continues. Awful, but cheerful. <laughs>